he'll push things around and get the smell of things. He smells and sorts of good things in there. So now at the quills, what are you going to end up doing? OK, we'll medicate it. Yep. We'll bring it down to Wellington Animal Hospital. Oh, OK. Um, hopefully tomorrow afternoon, we will totally sedate it. And then um, we'll pull the quills out of its mouth. OK. If there's nothing else wrong with it, you're pretty much going to try and set it free somewhere? Yeah. Awesome. We'll try not to drop it right off back in Sutton there so it doesn't yeah. end up on its doorstep again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. OK, well, I'll get some food for her and... Thanks. Yeah. Well, thanks, sir. We'll set her in, and I'll be in, back in touch with to let you know. Thank you. We're going to kind of let it rest for tonight, and then we're going to meet Maria uh, tomorrow, and uh, we can get the quills out and see whether or not there's any other injuries to it so it can be released. Morning. Good morning. You ready for the bobcat? Yeah. In Hopkinton, New Hampshire, Officer John Demler meets with rehabber Maria Colby in preparation for the removal of porcupine quills from an injured bobcat. It's not sedated or anything right now. Not at this point. Okay. No. Oh, I can hear her. <laughs> she was pretty easy to get this morning. That's good. Yeah. Doesn't seem uh, rabid or anything like that. No. And she's a female. It is. Yep. That's what I thought. But. Okay. If you can grab the front. Okay. Bring her right on in. This is a wild animal. It's spent its life avoiding people, and now it's in a completely unfamiliar environment. So it's letting us know it's not happy. It's not expressing its uh, gratitude for being helped. It's saying, get away from me before I hurt you. And we're to go right up onto the table here. The table. OK. Ooh, baby, are you ready? <laughs> She's been very loud the whole time. Especially yesterday when we first grabbed her. Yeah. Sorry about that. Four How many bobcats have you had in here? We see a number, but yeah. they're hit by cars. I gotcha. So fractures, you can call this like that type of thing. Oh, really? It's straightforward once it's anesthetized. OK. So uh, we're going to use a combination of three medications we're going to give in the muscle. OK. And then what we'll do is um, add or not add more anesthesia at that point to get the pills up. OK, perfect. Hello, kitty. The vet was trying to put this bobcat under with a needle, and the bobcat bent it. So they're going to get another one set and try it again. That way it's safe for not only us to handle, but it's safer for the animal. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my. Really? Yeah, let's try and plan change. Try a trash bin? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to try a trash bin. So the second try with the needle uh, didn't go well. So we've decided it's not really going to work the way that we thought. Um, and we're actually going to have to enclose the carrier and then um, use a gas to put the bobcat under. How many people does it take to really? screw a light bulb in? <laughs> Watch out. Watch your finger. Yeah, I have eyes on our friend, but it is what it is. The biggest con is it just takes longer. Yeah, that makes sense. And once we're there, it's only a few quills. We might just put it over her nose real quick okay. to take out the three or four quills. OK. What happened to make sure that she is in Fully fact. out, yeah, because I don't think you'd want it. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. Starting to come out of it a little bit. 
guys ready to take the carrier off the back. Ah, let's see what we got for quills. <laughs> there's like two. Yeah, and there's one in the chin. You ever pull out porcupine quills? I have not. This is okay, my first time. Well. They're barbed at the end, so it's going to be a bit of a pull. I got gotcha. you. This is a porcupine quill. You just want to grab at the base and pull straight. OK. Excellent. Okay. And they are they are hollow, so when you grab them, you're going to actually pinch it down. Yep. OK. All right. We at the base, and then it's pull straight. There you go. Good OK. Job. Oh, look at that. And then there's another one. Is it in them, or is it? Yeah, it's, it's on that lip. Upper right lip. See it right there. Oh, OK, yep. Right there. That one's broken. Oh, there's two there. And yeah, there's another one right next to it. Mm -hmm. Is that what's sticking out? Okay. Yep. Ready? Usually, if you see porcupine quills in an animal, it's an indicator that they're rabid, like a fox. Their face is going to be covered in quills because they just have kind of lost their senses. So to me, this seems like it was just a bad bite, and the bobcat didn't kill it before it got some quills in the face. I try not to get hair. All right. So then we do what we nicely call the poke em test. Yep. You run your hand over, and if you get poked, you find another one. Porcupines are uh, difficult prey for most uh, predators out there because they're covered in quills. Uh, but bobcats, we know, can uh, attack them in the face or, or flip them and get to the belly where they don't have quills. Um, and that's why they're successful in preying on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. You know what poked me? I was able to take out uh, over 10 quills from this bobcat. I know it's a wild animal, and I really want to have the minimal exposure to it. But at the same time, it was neat to be able to remove these and give it its best chance at uh, survival once it's returned out there to the wild. Is it going to go right back outside? We or? have to cover okay. first. It's so dark. All right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Now that the quills are out of this bobcat and it doesn't have any other serious injuries, Marie's going to take it and monitor it as it comes out of its anesthesia. And then I'm going to meet up with her and we're going to release it back to about where we picked it up. Bobcat yep. ready to go again? Yep. With some world-class medical treatment. <laughs> so that's the fun part of the job. Yeah. That went pretty well. Sure. Nice meeting you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am, as always. Pleasure. Enjoy your day. Oh, you as well. All right, Maria. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll see you. Okay. Uh, until next time. Yes. I appreciate it. Always and we'll, fun. Thanks. Ooh, just pulled a bunch of quills out of a bobcat's face. <laughs> <laughs>